eater. She used to try to be raw, but um, she's found herself a nice balance in that. And uh, she has a big group and on Facebook, and she was posting when your cheat meal becomes the month-long cheat. This is what happens. And I, I have a video called Cooked Carbs Were a Slippery Slope for Me, and I used to do this to myself for years. And I saw somebody on YouTube yesterday that um, is very, very sick now. And they had been raw on like, quite a long little stint there. And then they decided to compromise their situation by eating cooked food. It was like cooked pasta, cooked glue-forming food in your body, so to speak. And they did that because they didn't want to offend whoever Okay, that's not a problem to me. If you're offended, that's coming from your own fear-based mentality inside that you can't grow in your own strengths and new vibrations, and so you don't want to let me either, and that's not my problem. And I, I'm very streamlined about that, okay? That's not what I'm doing. And if it bothers you, I, I don't mind. Not in a sarcastic way, but I realize there's more to it than that. And I also realized people don't really care what you're doing. They care what they're doing. And she was confused why she was sick. I wasn't confused. Her body was trying to get that crap out of her body. Can anybody see that and know what I'm talking about? I didn't say anything. I just watched. And I was in a knowing of that. Because I lived in that mental space for years. If you do not decide to do different, you ain't going to get different. If you keep compromising your standards, you're not going to get different. You keep taking your blinders down, listening to everything coming in, you can lose your focus real fast. Don't lose your focus and you'll get what you want. Get a plan, which you have, put on your blinders. Work your plan, which you're doing. Get your results, which you are. Blinders come off. Noise comes in. You lose your focus. You lose your gains. It's cause and effect. There's no luck to it. There's no luck that I've got gym gains now. I've busted my butt to get those. There's no luck that I'm right on a high vibe of eating raw all the time. There's no luck about it. I've worked for that. You got a lot of people in this world that aren't focused on anything. There's a lot of noise. People doing a lot of nothing, a lot of busyness, getting nothing done. I don't want to be that. What do y'all think? So let me read you something. The cheat. Why do we cheat ourselves out of moving forward? Why do we fudge the truth of what we are really eating or drinking and then we're disappointed with the results? For example, you may make raw soup, zoodles, veggie dish for dinner. You have a wonderfully combined, low-fat, raw vegan dish and so you begin to eat. Then you decide. Well, it may be missing something due to your taste buds not having changed yet because you continue to pervert your taste buds. Okay. You go back into the kitchen for some salt, or a fat like butter, or sweetener like sugar, or maybe you just add in four more tablespoons of tahini. Whatever else that may continue to make you fall off the wagon. Of course, your delicious powerhouse meal might feel like it's missing something because you continue to do this sort of thing. We continue to, to give in to our perverted cravings. And then we're shocked that we don't get the results we wish for. More interesting is that in what cheat you can get away with and still tell yourself you're raw vegan. People do this all the time. You make a raw soup, but you add salt or something like sour cream or butter instead of allowing your taste buds to actually heal and change. 
you, you know, you're making little Johnny a sandwich and you eat the crust, you look away like you didn't do it, you don't understand why you're not getting results because you're not really doing it. You know? It only takes a few days for your taste buds to come back to recognize the pure flavors in raw food. To recognize the salty flavor in celery and heirloom tomatoes. Give the body a chance to heal once and for all. Give your body a chance to detox from salt and fat animal food. Get it out of your system once and for all. Starve the cravings. You've been cheating yourself with a cheat. Every action has a reaction and we need to take ownership of our choices. Taking ownership of our mistakes is where the growth and changes happens. I have an idea. Instead of the cheat, think of what it is that you're missing. Is it salt? Okay. So try having dulse flakes or fresh squeezed lemon juice, which you would be surprised hits a salty flavor for some reason. Is it fat? Try adding in your amount of fat, raw hemp seeds. Is it sweet? Try blending in dates to your super sauce in your amount. If we will be true to what we want and honest with our actions, changes will come. You have mapped out a plan, and all you've got to do is plug these ideas in. It will make all the difference. On the other hand, having no plan leads to the rash, random, unplanned choices, and they don't serve our goal. You're not serving yourself by that. Okay? We lie to ourselves about the cheat. I did this for years and never got to my results. For years, five years. And frankly, my whole adult life before that. When I started to map out a strong, steady plan, my whole game changed. A food journal is great for this. Honestly, writing down what you're doing each day. Include how you move that day, how you're feeling, how much water you drank, and if you do choose something wrong, circle that, draw it off the page, and may the next moment come into fruition. Anyway, that's a page out of my book. It's called The Cheat. And this is out of Fly Butterfly. And um, what's interesting is I put that book together about three years ago. Interesting is the same thing I'm saying now. I watched a video yesterday on YouTube. Somebody commented on it. They didn't understand what I was saying. They didn't understand my accent. I wanted to tell them what I said, it, whatever it meant. They said minute 8.30, and I thought, okay, let me click on that. So I decided to watch the video. It was right when I moved in this house, three and a half years ago. And uh, I, the video was titled, Why I Don't Eat Cooked Food. I'm going to put it in, the, in this link below. And what you're going to see, number one, Notice my hair. It had just started coming back. My hair came back many years ago, and then, then when I went through that stress of, of divorce and all that, I, I lost some hair due to stress. But my hair looks like you could take the end and crunch it off. Like it's very little. Take note of that. Take note of the fact that my eyes were bright, but not like now. My health is on the rise, my friends. But listen to what I'm saying in that video three and a half years ago. It's the same thing I'm saying now. What does that tell you? The mindset is everything. And the plan works. Is that not powerful? What do y'all think? Hey, Sonia. Last night I had a nice cream party and we... We all love the food. And others started saying how they couldn't do healthy, blah, blah, blah. I just started to do my breathing. One, two, three, four. I was thinking, this is their story, not yours, Mickey. I just listened to them with love. Oh, it's beautiful. It sums it up. No. Y'all have anything else you want to talk about right quick? Tomorrow I'm going to come to you and I'm going to talk about Forever Plan. I was just put a video about this up that I did a couple of groups back. It was a clip out of that and I had to really splice that video to get some names out and different stuff. But anyway, um, 
I want to talk specifically to y'all about that, and I want to give you some homework on that, so that's coming tomorrow. But I'm going to put that video below, and I want you to look closely, and I want you to listen to what I'm saying. It's the same thing I'm saying today. Though I've changed so much since then, though what's allowed me to change is the strong constitution of my health. For my health game is so strong that it allows my mind to see things so clearly. Things that, um, you know, I look back over these last couple of years of, of dating and stuff and I really feel like years ago, I've had several of these men try to marry me. Like <laughs> Scott and Gerald and even Byron suggested that kind of thing. I would have wound up with one of those men because I would not have seen the difference that I deserve so much more than they're capable of rising to the occasion, you know? And also I was not complete on my own and when you're complete, when your inner circle really only needs to be made up of you do you understand the power in that? That you're complete on your own and everything else is just sprinkles on your cake. Sure, it's nice, but you don't need it. And, and sometimes sprinkles become, you just need your main substance. You know what I mean? I was, um, listening to this sermon by Joel Osteen the other day and he was talking about how and this is kind of on a religious note but you can take it and turn it into many things he was talking about how Jesus had gone into um, the, the, this girl was, was dead okay and they had called Jesus in and people were like you can't do anything she's dead and there was all these naysayers and mockers and all this and he could have chosen to raise this girl in front of all these people but what he did was he asked them to leave and what he had was his inner circle we have to scale down you know what I mean and he said, she's not dead, she's just asleep. We got more power inside of us than we realize. Do y'all know that? Do you see it clearly? We can choose to be anywhere, just like Mickey was at this ice cream party, do anything, arrive with here I am. While you're there, anywhere it is, you're there doing your thing with here I am. You didn't have to pack your soapbox. You're not preaching to these people. It doesn't matter. You're doing your thing. And when you leave, you leave with your strong constitution, your results, and your integrity intact. You come home and you look in that mirror and say to yourself, Here I am. Bam. How about that? Going anywhere, doing anything. So I would challenge everybody today. I would love for you to put a situation today. There's something you deal with. Do you go to work and people mock your lifestyle because they say, you weigh 250 pounds and that ain't working for you? Check me in a year, friends. But I'll tell you what, people that mock me, try to bring me down, laugh at my goals, laugh at my intentions, I can assure you this. I have a plan, and in five years, in four years, in one year, in six months, I won't be the same, but they, they may be. Sitting in the same low vibrational level 
that they are today. Bringing down other people instead of raising the bar on their self.